What if an aircraft could possess the capability to sink a submarine in combat? Strange as it sounds, there is now a U.S. aircraft that can drop winged torpedoes to destroy enemies deep beneath the sea. Winged torpedoes can be dropped during combat by the Navy P-8A Poseidon. These self-propelled underwater missiles are intended to detonate upon impact with the hulls of surface ships and underwater submarines. In this video, we'll dive deep – see what I did there? – into the Navy's P-8A Poseidon and the new winged torpedoes of destruction. Anti-submarine warfare is a subset of underwater warfare that involves the detection, tracking, damage, or destruction of enemy submarines using surface warships, planes, submarines, or other platforms. Although the availability of these aircraft has decreased since the end of the Cold War, some are still able to launch weapons capable of locating and attacking submarines at a distance. Submarines, on the other hand, are already in the water terrain and can fire cruise missiles at ships from even greater distances. These systems are only getting better at pinpointing their target by exploiting the target data supplied by offboard sensors. There still leaves a lot to be desired in the terms of warfare. This is where the P-8A Poseidon steps in as a useful and deadly force to be reckoned with. The P-8A Poseidon the P-8A Poseidon is a multi-mission maritime patrol and reconnaissance aircraft employed by the U.S. Navy. It is capable of carrying out a range of operations, including anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and humanitarian response. The P-8A has a broad global reach, more cargo capacity, a higher operational altitude, cutting-edge sensors, radars, and an open systems design that continues to provide invaluable service to the U.S. Navy. The P-8 is an aircraft that comes in two versions, the P-8I, operated by the Indian Navy, and the P-8A Poseidon, used by the U.S. Navy, the Royal Air Force of the United Kingdom, the Royal Australian Air Force, and the Royal Norwegian Air Force. The P-8A Poseidon is a military aircraft created by Boeing to perform anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare, as well as intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance tasks. It has a length of 129.5 feet, a height of 42.1 feet, a wingspan of 123.6 feet, and a maximum gross takeoff weight of 189,200 pounds. The P-8A is powered by two CFM 56-7B engines with 27,300 pounds thrust each and is able to reach an airspeed of 490 knots true airspeed and a ceiling of 41,000 feet. The P-8A Poseidon has a range of 1,200 nautical miles radius and is crewed by nine personnel. It is equipped with armaments such as torpedoes and cruise missiles. The aircraft has commonality with the 737 fleet and other military platforms that use the 737 airframe, allowing for reduced costs and spares and training for crews and the ability to leverage support throughout the world. In addition to high-quality armament systems, the aircraft features an open design that allows for future development. The P-8A is designed for today's tasks, and Boeing brags that it has the capacity to expand. New sensors include radar, electronic support measures, and a digital magnetic anomaly detector. If you've been enjoying this video so far, be sure to like it and subscribe to Military Minds for all of our latest content. The Poseidon is outfitted with an internal five-station weapons bay, four wing pylons, and two centerline pylons, all of which are backed by digital storm management and can carry joint missiles, torpedoes, and mines. The service has recently announced initial operational capability with Hawk, which converts airdropped MK-45 lightweight anti-submarine torpedoes into long-range, rapidly delivered standoff weapons. The High Altitude Anti-Submarine Warfare Weapon Capability, or Hawk, has been added to the arsenal of the United States Navy P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. Boeing Company's airborne weapons experts are developing add-on kits to make flying torpedoes that would allow U.S. Navy planes to target submerged enemy submarines from vast distances and at high altitudes. The Naval Sea Systems Command in Washington announced in August 2022 that the Boeing Company Defense, Space, and Security Division in St. Louis will be awarded a $25.6 million contract to manufacture and maintain the high-altitude anti-submarine warfare weapon capability air launch accessory. It is important to note that this contract has options that could increase its value to $121.4 million. The Hawk ALA converts the Raytheon MK-54 lightweight torpedo carried on board the Navy's Boeing P-8A Poseidon long-range maritime patrol plane into a gliding weapon that the P-8A aircraft may deploy from high altitudes. After releasing its control surfaces, the Hawk ALA deploys a parachute, lowering the torpedo into the sea and launching it toward the target. The Hawk-equipped MK-54 torpedo will glide for 7 to 10 minutes after being fired from 30,000 feet. 
As the anti-submarine warfare flying torpedo approaches the water, it jettisons its wings and tail and returns to its original role as a smart torpedo capable of detecting, tracking, and attacking enemy submarines autonomously. The MK-54 is a lightweight, all-digital torpedo with advanced software algorithms developed for the larger submarine-launched Mark 48 torpedo that has always been able to be launched from aircraft, but prior to the Hawk ALA, crews of anti-submarine fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters had to discharge the torpedo from heights of no more than 100 feet. The Hawk will allow the P-8A aircraft to maintain optimal surveillance levels without wasting fuel by descending to low altitudes and returning to high altitudes. Torpedoes dropped from the sky typically have to be released at very low altitudes, sometimes less than 100 feet above the water and relatively close to their targets. P-8A crews will be able to deploy MK-54 torpedoes from a longer range with the Hawk, which will decrease their vulnerability to enemy air defenses. Attacking from high altitudes also allows the P-8A to minimize the time between target acquisition and assault, as well as deliver anti-submarine weaponry beyond the range of shore-based anti-aircraft defenses. The Hawk ALA for the MK-54 torpedo was designed originally for the Boeing AGM-84HK Standoff Land Attack Missile Expanded Response Slammer. The ALA tail assembly includes the guidance kit for the Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM. It is unclear what the maximum range of an MK-54 equipped with Hawk is. Navy officials have previously requested a standoff range of at least 20 miles for the system. Boeing says that a wing modification it developed for use on 500-pound class JDAM bombs, the MK-54 weighs around 608 pounds, enabled the bombs to glide up to 40 miles to their targets. Of course, the speed and altitude of the aircraft carrying the explosives have a significant impact on these ranges. A data link is also included in the Hawk kit, allowing for the weapon to be retargeted in flight. Because of the inherent complexity of detecting and tracking undersea threats, this capability is especially useful in anti-submarine warfare. While a winged torpedo is en route to the target area, it is important to consider that it's possible contact may be lost and then reacquired, or that another threat could emerge suddenly in the same area that takes priority. The weapon can then be sent course corrections as it heads to the target area, which also increases its overall accuracy. P-8As can be deployed to launch Hawk-equipped MK-54s against potential threats which are detected by other aircraft, helicopters, vessels, or unmanned aircraft. Consequently, they act as a sortie delivery vehicle for anti-submarine warfare armaments in a larger area of operations. In the near future, the Navy plans to enhance Hawk's capabilities by combining the improved MK-54 Mod 1 torpedo, which is currently in development. So, what do you think? What was the most useful feature of the P-8A? Should the U.S. Navy invest more resources in the P-8A Poseidon aircraft program? Let us know in the comments. I thank you for watching Military Minds. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos from us. I'll see you next time.